Hi. Manta Ray Facts and Information Guide. Learn interesting facts about stingrays that will make you never put off snorkeling with them again. These giant stingrays fascinate everyone. However, they are safe for humans. The size of this harmless animal is truly amazing. The only predator that can attack the sea devil is large carnivorous sharks. Mantas have nothing as a defensive weapon. They do not have sharp spikes like stingrays and do not produce electrical discharges like some rays. Therefore, the attack can end tragically for the manta. But man became convinced of the safety of these animals only recently, and in the 60s of the 20th century, the sea devils appeared before people in the form of bloodthirsty creatures. Feature films were even made where manta rays appeared as killers. Today, divers from all over the world come to dive in Nusa Penida to meet two pelagic fish, the manta ray and the mola mola. Oceanic or reef manta. There are two types of manta, the oceanic or giant manta ray by Rostris and the reef ray Alfredi. The one you'll see in Bali, Nusa Penida to be exact, are the reef manta rays. Their wingspan can reach 5 meters. The back of the fish is painted black and the belly is snow white, with an individual number of spots for each individual. Thanks to this color, it is well camouflaged in the water. Another feature of the manta is its jumping over water. It is not exactly clear what purpose the devil is pursuing by jumping 1.5 meter above the surface of the water. Where does manta ray live? Manta rays live in warm, temperate, subtropical, and tropical waters. The oceanic manta ray migrates across the open oceans. But the reef manta lives closer to the shore. What is a manta ray cleaning station? A cleaning station is a place where a fish gathers for cleaning the parasites present on its body, mouth, or gills. Cleaning stations are usually located on corals. The stingray swims slowly around the coral while the cleaner fish eats the parasites. Rays and cleaner fish really form a kind of symbiosis. What does manta ray eat? Manta rays feed on plankton in the form of shrimp, krill, and planktonic crabs. What about the babies? The sea devil breeds very rarely about every five years. The female gives birth to one cub, which is already born longer than one meter. During the year, the baby increases in length by about two times. Mandy live for about 50 years. Are manta rays dangerous? No, manta is not dangerous. They are smart and very curious, easily tamed. They can be dangerous only during the jump. Three tons falling from above on a person can certainly be dangerous. Are manta ray in danger? In nature, the sea devil has almost no enemies, with the exception of carnivorous sharks, and even they attack almost only young animals. The main threats are overfishing, pollution, and global warming. Where are manta rays found in Bali? There are two main dive sites, Manta Bay or Manta Point, where snorkeling and manta ray diving usually take place. The probability of seeing manta rays in these places reaches 95%. You can also see manta rays from the top of the Nusa Penida Cliffs, but going down from the cliff to any beach to swim with manta rays, unfortunately, will not work. We have idea. Full day Nusa Penida private yacht tour. This tour gets you there on your very own boat and offers the chance to swim with giant manta rays, snorkel colorful coral and vibrant fish, and enjoy an included lunch. Optionally for a snorkeling only tour, or spend the afternoon exploring the island, with stops at Kelling King Beach, Broken Beach and Angels Billabong and many more beautiful viewpoints of Nusa Penida. Just go to our website to start your trip to Bali with us.